semen retention build up your energy everything that you want to acquire in this life requires energy you want to be in shape it requires energy you want to be financially free or be a businessman energy you want to have positive relationship with people energy so semen is the ultimate energy form that you have once you're constantly depleted, once you're constantly letting go and you're blowing your seed, your energy levels are naturally low. Mentally, physically, spiritually, you're low. That's why you have to build it up. Now, when I say build it up, it doesn't mean you need to be three years on semen retention or six months in. Just be, make a conscious choice not to release. But however long you last is how, lo how long you last. But then you go back again, you re recycle the energy and you hold it. The longer you hold it, the more you're going to cultivate the energy and you can direct it. That's a key word because a lot of people do semen retention, but nothing comes off it. If you just hold your seat and you just at home playing video games and you're just doing irrelevant shit, bro, watching movies and that, then of course, that semen retention is not going to manifest into what it's supposed to. Whereas if you retain your seed and then you channel that energy or you use the energy into something productive or getting in shape or chasing your passion or doing something of purpose, then you will be fulfilled. Because you have to look at it like this, like, you see, there's different ways you can fulfill yourself. You can fulfill yourself by watching them dirty sides, slapping off, and that's your fulfillment right there. That, that's the satisfaction that you're going to feel. Or you can let go of the energy and cultivate it through something that is of meaning, something that's actually going to benefit your life. You see, it's all the same. You either release your seed from watching two random people you don't know, or you can be satisfied mentally at least by achieving something or using your energy for something that is actually beneficial that's a choice you have to make but the journey of semen retention is a journey that you must be on i feel like that is a journey that you're going to be on as long as you're conscious as long as you're conscious and aware you're going to be on semen retention like it's not even a choice because you understand the consequence you, you understand the significance of the semen whereas if you're unconscious, you just think, oh, it doesn't matter. Blow my seed. Oh, yeah. Sleep with this person. Sleep with that person. It doesn't really matter. It's unconsciousness. So if you're clicking this video, you definitely have a sense of consciousness because you wouldn't even click this. Or that. You wouldn't even watch this type of video if you didn't have any awareness. You understand? So look at it in that sense. Instead of me watching something, what's the best way for me to cultivate this energy? Where is this energy going towards? There has to be purpose behind it. You can't just hold on and think that's it. Like, forget about everything you hear about semen retention. Oh, you, you get magnetism and feel more attraction and all that. That's just, you're focusing on irrelevant things, bro. The whole point of retaining it is so you can acquire or achieve or focus on something. So what is it that you want to focus on? What is it that you want to get from this life? The first thing or the, the, <laughs> the foundation, if you have to point to something, is being in physical and mentally stable state and that. That's a step one. Like, I don't even, like, if you're not focusing on that, bro, and you're focusing on all things, bro, your priority is wrong. Being in physically, being physically and mentally good, physically in shape and mentally good within yourself and that. That's step one. Like, if you don't know what to do with your energy or what to do in your life, bro, start there. That's the foundation. Once you get that right, bro, all the doors are going to open. But if you're focusing just on money, I want to be rich and I want to I wanna be a billionaire or whatever, whatever you're focusing on, in that, you're going to neglect your body. In that, you're going to neglect your mind. You're going to neglect so many things in that process. So focus on physical, mental, being good in that sense. Obviously, also financial. And everything else will just manifest, you know? But the main thing you can do as well is to spread the message. If you're on this consciousness, I feel like a lot of people... I think this is a separate video, but I'm going to touch on it briefly, like... A lot of people on this journey of self-improvement, human retention, becoming the best version of yourself... Like, I understand that everyone's going to make content. Not everyone wants to, you know, express themselves or show their face or whatever. But the one thing you can do, man, if you're better in yourself, man, is to try and help other people. Whether that be video, whether that be text, whether that be whichever form in that, man. Help other people. Lift other people up in that, man. That's, that right there, you have some sort That's purpose in itself. Helping other people is purpose, you know. So if you've been on this journey for a while and you've been retaining or you've been on self-improvement, man, try to see how you can spread the message. You don't, you don't have to show your face. Find, find a format where you can express it and help other people as well. You understand? But regardless, the point of the video is the energy, man. Build up the energy, bro. I know once you're on the journey, it's like the energy is frustration, anger, emotion, you know? 
all of that is part of it. You're not gonna just, it's not all just positive. Oh yeah, retaining my seed, I feel happy every single day. I'm jumping around, I know what I'm doing now. Nah, part of retaining a seed is frustration, anger, you know, anxiety, depression, like it's emotion that you're not wasting. Because everyone, everyone is recycling this energy in, in, in one way or another. People might build their emotion, their anger, stress, and then blow their seed. Or you might build up the anger, stress, smoke a cigarette. You might build up the anger, stress, and you release it through video games. Everyone has their way to release it. But you, the best way to release it is through your art, through your purpose, through something that's actually beneficial to yourself or other people. That's the best format to release the energy. So if you feel angry, there's different ways to do it. You know what I'm saying? To cultivate it. You might want to... You know what I'm saying? Spot, you might want to make a video. You might want to create some, design some shit like emotion. Everything, everyone who's created something has used emotion. It's cultivated a sexual energy, whether consciously or unconsciously. You understand? Sexual energy is vital. It literally can create a life, a human being. It can also create an idea. It can also create a business. It also can spark a movement. It can, it's all the same energy. You understand? That's why you have to build it up. I know it's difficult, I know it's challenging. You got social media, you go outside in public and females are dressed in a certain way and there's endless amount of factors in that, but that's the whole point, bro. You're, you're a man, bro, you're going to war. Just like back in the day, bro, you had to go to war, bro. You didn't have no choice. You know what I'm saying? If, if they called you up to go to the army, that's it. You pick up your, and then you move. Or someone's trying to run up on your, your area, your tribe, and that, then you had to defend yourself. Or you maybe you have to go conquer. Like that's that's the nature of man to overcome itself, to fight for something. You understand? So get on the journey. Even if you do one day, bro, that's that's, that's success, bro. Three days, great. As long as you're pushing the boundaries and that. Don't look at these people on YouTube. Oh, five years, ten years on semen retention. Like don't watch that and think, oh, bro, that's so far away. I can never get there. Like forget about that, bro. Focus on yourself. Focus on your journey. Like if if you if you Let's say you blow your seed every day. If you can push it to every two days, bro, that's progression. Or if you can get to one time in a week, that's progression. You know, focus on the little step. Be better than you was yesterday. That's all you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Don't compare yourself to no one. Because that's where people go wrong. Oh, he's six months. Boy, he's been doing it for one year, but ain't no way I can do that. Like, just be the best version of yourself. Do all that you can. You understand? And build the energy up. But building it is only step one. Step two is what are you going to do with that? Because naturally, if you've been on a semen retention journey, you know how it goes already. Each day, each week you go by, each month you go by, you're going to have to do more like just to remain on your journey. The moment you start to relax or you run out of things to do, then relapse in the corner, man. The devil's calling you. Like, Drr -drr -drr. Pick up the phone and that, like, hello? Oh, shit. Like, I, I relapsed. So as the time, as the weeks and months go by, do more things. Work, bro, there's so many things to do, like, let's be real, bro. There's so many things to do. You can work out, you can read, you can meditation, yoga, go for a walk, create videos, learn a lot, like, bro, the things that, the amount of things there is to do, bro, it's just about choosing to do it or not. You understand? So I don't want to go make the video too long, channel the energy, build it up. If you're on day one, then shh. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, let's, let's get it, man. Let's, let's build it back up again and move that energy into something of purpose to yourself over people. That's all you need to do. Appreciate you for watching the video, man. Make sure to like, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below, man. Let's go.